Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today I am using my vlog camera but I wanted to talk to you guys about this detox that I'm doing and I'm going to show you, it's this, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's the Holistic Re-Engineering Tummy Detox Her Herbal Blends and then the parasite one so these are the lighting is going to go in and out but these are by a man called a man named dr bobby price he is on instagram so he has a detox and amazing videos guys you for those of you guys who have been following me you know that i am a vegan and that whole story so if you don't know <laughs> i'll try to find a video and link it uh but um pretty much i am plant-based and i've decided to do a few things extra when it comes to my eating habits but i wanted to share the detox with you guys now he has a 14 day and a 28 day package they do come in separate packages so if you decided to share it with someone um, in your household for 14 days each you can I don't know if I recommend getting the 28 and then saving it like for another month or so I don't I don't recommend that but splitting it yeah so I did buy the 28 day one and my reason was because I wanted to just go completely ham with the entire thing right so okay let's get into uh, let me show you guys so here's the two bottles that I make every night. So you take a teaspoon, not a teaspoon like the little measuring things. He wants you to use an actual spoon and then shape off the top um, and that's what you're going to put into your mason jars. Um, so two of those in each. Do not put them together and a couple of things that I want to talk about that I don't want to say uh it's one thing that kind of annoyed me and if he sees this video maybe he'll add it to his website um but get the two mason jars don't get them from amazon <laughs> listen amazon everybody shops at amazon on amazon but you can get a like a case of this at target for like the low low um get the wide mouth one that way you can stick your hand in clean it clean it and all that good stuff and it's just easier for me honestly so they need you need to have a 32 ounce one which i am a fool because initially i didn't know these were 32 but they are and i got the wide mouth ones so i make these every night and i drink one in the morning and i drink the other one i've tried it a couple of ways and i'm gonna tell you why in a minute um and then you drink the other one after not directly after depending on what i'm about to say what you're gonna do what i'm about to say so when i first did it i actually drink <laughs> I drank the deep the which one the parasite one first and I drank the detox one after now what I did the first day was I ate after I drank the first one and I was just like I'm hungry right like I'm always hungry so I ate I ate like an hour after maybe 30 minutes after because I think that's what it says actually I think I have the paper here I do so he gives you like a card inside of the thing so I ate 30 minutes after when it was time for me to drink that tummy detox listen it was disgusting like I was like I don't know I, this is like I don't know if I can do this and I've had really bitter uh, detoxes before but not in the amount that we have to drink for this one so I was just like Lord, please help. I, like, I really want to finish it, right? Um, and as far as my taste buds, like, I've I've been eating clean for some time now. Um, when I say cheat, when I cheat, I'll go get, like, they have a vegan Thai place out here. Now, the food is really good, guys, but I'll tell you this. I know they're cooking it in some terrible oil and stuff, but it's so good. So, that is my cheat, and then I'll, I would cheat with, like, mm, like a vegan burger which was terrible because that's just once I put it in it's like it's over so I would eat after I ate after and then I had the, the, the other one if you read the reviews 
people are saying, oh, after day three, it doesn't taste so bad. I'm, that's a lie. I'm sorry. It's a lie. It took, I'm on, what day am I on? Today is, <laughs> let me get my cell phone, guys. It took me about 10, 10 to 12 days for it not to feel like it was like, tasting really bad and I came home and I actually drank it really late and I was like oh my god it doesn't taste like anything so I don't know I guess it really just depends on you but for a person who eats clean 98% of the time I it still was a really bad taste I would not lie to you and say that <laughs> it's not hard this thing is very bitter it's very bitter however I have convinced four people to do it with me um and i told them you know it tastes really bad but you're gonna feel better some of the okay so this is the card that it comes with so here's where my irritation came in and dr bobby price i'm telling you now i go grocery shopping in atlanta um sometimes every two weeks depending on how quickly i'll go to my go through my fruits and vegetables or every week excuse me excuse me so I already have bought mushrooms and things like that. So I asked a few questions after I got my detox. And the young lady responded to me and she said that they recommend eating raw. Dr. Bobby Price, listen. For someone like me who is very structured when it comes to grocery shopping, that should be on your website. The plant-based part is fine, but I also think you should put raw. That will definitely help a person who is really trying to do this, understand like, you need to go completely raw, vegan, um, to get the best benefits, right? Add that to your website, It'll trust me, it'll help. So the first day I drank it like that, didn't like it that way. The next day, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drink these back to back. Not back to back, meaning like right after. I waited an hour and drank the other one. That seemed to have been working for me this whole time. Um, because then I feel like I can eat the rest of the day, right? And what I mean by eat the rest of the day, I was eating raw, but then I got tired. <laughs> so I started to cook my quinoa, just strictly quinoa. But then I would take my zucchini, mush, uh, zucchini, uh, sometimes kale, uh, green pepper, red peppers, yellow, all the bell peppers, onions, and I would just season it up and I will put it in the cooked quinoa. So the vegetables and stuff were raw, but I left, I left the quinoa cooked. So I've been doing that a lot, and it seems to have been, I've been feeling good, and I'll tell you the benefits that I've felt so far. Now let's backtrack. Ugh, what Each person is different. Um, I was using the restroom quite a lot. <laughs> Number one and two, um, and it was just like a lot. Now you have to make sure you're drinking water, especially if you're using the restroom like that. You don't want to become dehydrated uh, when it comes to you know using the restroom. So I was using the bathroom a lot, which was great. Okay, that was a good experience. Just like, cause I was regular anyway, but this was like something different. <laughs> and I'm not a big girl, but I obviously know that there was stuff that I've eaten before that was still just like in a system. So I have nuts, fruit, I juice, um, and my quinoa seemed to have been like my go-to meal on top of like wraps with like nori sheets, um, if you want, and I don't know if this is like the best thing, but wraps and stuff are not the greatest, like the wraps in the stores, but there is a brand called Be Free. They have one, not the spinach one. There's another one with like nuts and seeds. It's pretty okay. It's not perfect as far as the ingredients, but it's definitely not nearly as bad as the rest of them. So if you don't like nori sheets, you can probably do that, even though I know that they cook it some way, somehow. So look into stuff like that. Just make sure you're preparing before. Read everything on his website. I did not get the book, but I actually do want to get his book. But read everything on the website. Um, they do recommend eating raw, plant-based stuff. Do not go out there eating chicken and beef and shrimp and all that good stuff. Do not eat white rice. Do not eat um, white pasta. 
do not eat any of that stuff if you're going to do a detox then detox guys like you don't want to go ahead and do a detox and after you do the detox start to eat like bad again it's just pointless even liquor so i don't drink i've stopped drinking years ago so for the people <laughs> ladies and gentlemen for those of you guys who drink <clears throat> If you're going to do his detox, this might be a hard pill to swallow, guys. But you might as well just give up liquor altogether. There is no point to drink after you detox. You understand? Like, there's no reason to do it. It's just no reason. Um, Find something else to do, okay? <laughs> so, try your best to, like, really stick it out. When I tell you, my friend, she said that she's... I think she stopped at, like, day 18 maybe 19 and she said she's gonna continue later on and i'm like you're almost there i was I, what day am i on let me let me see i am on day let's calculate this really quick where's my calendar today's the 14th okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm on day 19 and i'm not gonna stop i think day 15 i was just like oh my god i'm like so over this However, guys, like, running up the stairs and stuff, I'm very, like, like, if my knees are not bothering me, I'm not out of breath. <laughs> like, those are the things that I'm paying attention to. And I'm also paying attention to my knee hurting if I ate something, too much of something, right? So, I, and here's an example. I usually get the white quinoa, um, but I ate it one day and I felt like my knee was bothering me, but I realized that I was sitting on something that, the way my leg was positioned. So I thought like, oh my God, can I not eat quinoa, the white one? So just pay attention to your body. It's definitely helpful when you are doing a detox, which a detox is completely different from a cleanse. Watch his video and he'll break it down for you, like the difference between the two. But I definitely recommend these guys. Okay, I recommend them. I do, but they're nasty, okay? Um, so, the Tummy Tea Tox is organic and wild-crafted herbal teas, right? Um, he does have instructions here on how to infuse it and all that good stuff. Get a steeper if you want. If you do not have a steeper, you can just throw it in there. And in the morning, you can definitely put, like, a cheesecloth in there in, like, a strainer. Put your mason jar under the strainer and pour it in. You can do it like that, too. So some benefits, here's some benefits of the tea tox, the tummy tea tox. Um, it alleviates bloating and gas, constipation removes accumulated bowel waste, guys. Ew. Softens the stool, it does. Flattens the tummy, it does. <laughs> and burns belly fat, it does. Now it also says good for hair, skin, and nails. Now, I chopped my nails off like, like a couple of weeks ago. My Skin has always been pretty good however the last couple of months I feel like I've been having like a little bit of like issues here but I think my brush wasn't like completely clean but it has cleared up now what's in here is cascara sagrada that is what's disgusting okay that is so nasty dandelion is not bad um rub hard rub hard sage senna Oh, Senna's in here and Slippery Elm. <laughs> so that's in the tummy tea talk. So it does have precautions and stuff on here for pregnant women and all that stuff. It's gross, but it's worth it. I'm, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it for him. I'm not. But I will say, I'm still going to do it. I don't care how nasty it is. And I tried to sell the other people at my job and they were like, you know, they called me by my name, Sanaya. Like, hey, if you're going to try to sell this to us, then... Don't tell us it's nasty. I'm like, I'm trying to warn you. Because I know, like, I talk to them about healthy stuff. And they talk crap, but then they'll text me later on about, like, hey. The parasite one, the benefits of this one is it kills intestinal parasites and yeast. Restores healthy gut bacteria. Cleanses the liver and kidney. Detoxifies the blood and removes mucus. Now, there was a young lady who did a review. Not a review. Well, she reviewed it on his website. Guys, she had a parasite come out of her. It was very, it was very gross. Um, but 
it detoxifies the blood, which which is, you know, great, right? So the ingredients in this one is black walnut hull, burdock, clove, clove is so thing, neem, oregano, pal de arco, and wormwood. <laughs> this is nasty. Oh, um, so here are the, the the packages that they do come in. Um, I will also tell him too, because when I got my package, I know it wasn't the delivery people, but it wasn't completely closed, so some of my herbs fell out. It's very strong when you open it up, guys. But listen, it is well worth it. Um, like I said, here's the card that it comes with. He goes, what to expect? You should experience uh, a dull headache. Um, you could experience a dull headache, nausea, stomach cramping, depending. Detoxifying can also cause fatigue. Listen to your body and rest. Now, when it comes to fatigue, I think on like three, day three and four, every day, it was like around my lunchtime, I was falling asleep. And I, I get some good rest. Um, the teas are bitter, however, your taste buds will adjust by day five. So he's saying by day five, I'm telling you by day 10. But yeah. Um, mucus being expelled via the sinus, lung, skin, or stool. Um, I haven't had this experience because I already have a mucusless diet. Um, itching or short term breakout or toxins leaving, um, leaves the skin. You know, the skin is like the biggest organ. A removal of toxins, acidity, mucus, and heavy metals. For those of you guys who are seafood eaters, increase in urination and bowel movement. Yes. <laughs> Drink additional water and sweating and rest. Wait. Drinking additional water, sweating, and rest helps to alleviate detox symptoms. I haven't had any bad symptoms, guys, like to be quite honest. Um, so what you'll need is two 32-ounce jars, natural spring water, a pot or tea kettle, two mesh herb infusers, a traditional tablespoon, not a measuring spoon. So he has that all on here. Um, I'm telling you before you actually purchase it, so you'll have these things um, with you. I'm gonna put all this in the description bar. Um, and then detox instructions, he has them here. Uh, he tells you how to make it, and he has tips, and then what to eat. Now, the what to eat part is where I was just like, some of it is on his website, but that raw part is not on his website. During the detox, you will be adopting a plant-based lifestyle. No meat, dairy, eggs, cheese, or processed foods. I highly recommend following the principles in my book or downloading my free plant-based starter kit. That free starter kit, I don't see it on his website. I don't know. Maybe you guys can check. I, I didn't see it. Both have a list of approved foods for the absolute best results. Maybe I should send him a message on this, on this, because I don't see it. I recommend, oh, it does. Chow. I'm sorry, Dr. Bobby Price, because it says it right here. It says both have a list of approved foods for the absolute best results. I, I recommend adopting a raw plant-based diet. I'm sorry, Dr. Bobby Price. Um, check out plant-based vegan recipes on Pinterest. Also get acquainted with local plant-based restaurants. Here are a few recommendations. So he gives like for breakfast, he has um, green smoothies, green juice. Chad, I'll talk about the green juice when I do my Nama, my Nama review, my Nama juicer. Fruit bowls, teas, large salads, kale wraps, quinoa stir fries, soups and soup. So I'm pretty much good. Um, I'm pretty much good. I don't, I'm not a soup person, but if somebody knows how to make some really good vegan plant-based soup, let me know or link, let me know who I can follow or something. Cause I, I, I definitely want to try it. I've never really been a soup person. Um, so yes, it comes with this and this will definitely help guys. So would I recommend this? Absolutely. Yes. Um, my friend who's doing it with me, she actually started before I started. I was still in Portugal. She was just like so anxious to start. So, um, she started, she did mess, she did cheat. Like she cheated like a bad cheat guy. She went and had some macaroni and cheese and I was just like, why you do that? <laughs> but she, she, you know, picked back up after. She does eat pretty plant-based, um, majority of the time. So, but she wasn't having the same results as me. And I don't know if it's because I'm eating more than she's eating. I, I'm not sure. 
But for me, I'm using the restroom, like he says. I'm not having headaches or anything like that, but I definitely recommend it for people who are suffering with any type of anything, guys. Your health is your wealth. Um, doctors don't know everything. He talks about that as well. But just listen to your body. If you feel good doing something and it may not taste the best, continue to do it. Um, you are, you're going to benefit from it. I'll say that. So I will give this tea, Tommy Tea Tox in Parasite <laughs> Detox. I would give it a, I would give it a 10 out of 10. And the reason why, okay, let me take, let me take it. Let me give it a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine. And the other point is because it's disgusting. <laughs> um, um, yeah. And I say half a point for disgusting and the other half is just the amount of tea that you have to drink because it is a lot. Um, but he does not recommend gulping it. You can become gassy. So sipping it is better, but to be honest, it's like nasty to sip it, guys. But you can definitely do it. I'm gonna finish it out strong. Um, and you guys know, I told you this before. I don't know if for my new followers, I told you my mom, my grandmother, and my aunt all passed away from breast cancer. And I know for a fact, what I know now, had I known when my mom was alive, she would still be here. So if I can push my sister and other friends to just like start changing their diets, I will definitely do that. So I recommend it. I'll link everything below for you guys. I'll put some tips in there for you guys. And I wish you guys luck if you guys do decide to do it. If you do do it, definitely tag me in anything um comment on this video if you have any more questions let me know i recommend it but it's nasty <laughs> it's bitter it's bitter but trust me i think you guys would really really be happy to do something like this and feel good about yourself after completing either 14 days or 28 days i went for the 28 because i wanted to just go like super super hard so, but I am gonna do this every three to four months, not a 28 day, most likely a 14 day one. Um, but I think starting out 28 would be really good to just kind of get everything in, get it done, and just move forward, guys. So, let me know if you want more videos like this. You guys know I don't really talk much about my eating and stuff like that, but I am a vegan, and that story about my mom and my aunt and my grandmother, that is really why I completely like cold turkeyed everything. Um, it's just what it is. We were given these bodies, borrowed bodies, so take care of them the best that we can. And if you guys do it, let me know. Um, and get the book too. I'm gonna get the book just to have because I heard it's really good. Um, and also guys, he used to be a doctor in one of the Atlanta hospitals. So listen to his story, very motivational, especially hearing it come from a doctor who had some issues, right? And he wasn't perfect as far as health and he was a doctor, so he talks about that as well. So, if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style services, Coco Styles NY. And guys, you know I'm gonna tick tickety tock, Coco Styles NYC, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>